the key is find your hook. You want a one out to a two out hook. And I know I have a lot of kids watching. So for my pro anglers that are watching, bear with me. I know you all know this, but you're going to hook it right in the egg sac or what it's also called as the collar, the collar area of the bait. Now, here's the key. Now, here's the key. So you take a, a tool like this uh, or VMC makes pliers too. You put a little piece of rubber on it and then you thread the piece of rubber onto the bait. And what that does is it helps latch it in there so the worm lasts longer. Again, if you're on a budget and you have to pick between getting Yamamoto's, which are a little bit more expensive, and buying a threading tool, just get the new Yamamoto's and save up for it. But you do not actually need it to make this bait work. Don't always actually use the Yamamoto avenues. And that is with trick worms. And the reason being is a lot of the ponds and stuff in Northern Virginia and Maryland are stupid pressured. Yamamoto stick bait is fantastic for most places, except when you're dealing with super, super pressured fish. Because again, that's what they see. Everyone's throwing that stick worm. Going down to a four inch or a seven inch trick worm, it's just going to get you bit way, way more. And again, if you guys remember uh, last week's live stream, where we talked about BFS gear, bank fishing. I was throwing that on four pound, no, five pound sunline fluorocarbon leader when I caught that big one at Lake Frederick was about two years ago. And I had to keep going down in line size until I could get bit. And so when you're doing that, all I'm doing here is I'm downsizing my wacky rig. I'm downsizing my shaky head. So again, if, if, if the fish are highly pressured, if the pond you're in are highly pressured, just drop everything down. 